Hey there, St. Paul family and whoever else happens to be watching. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for watching this weekly video devotion. During this season of Lent, we are concentrating on the words of Psalm 51, David's psalm of confession when he was confronted in his sin with Bathsheba. The season of Lent allows us an opportunity to especially take a look at the reason why Jesus went to the cross in the first place, and that was to pay the price for our sin. And so we concentrate on our sin and our sinfulness and give thanks to God that he was willing to give up his only son for us, for our rescue, and for our salvation. So I encourage you to open up your Bibles once again to Psalm 51 and read that psalm out loud. It is nearly springtime. It is a beautiful day outside today. I have my window open and the, the warm, fresh air is blowing in. It, it feels fantastic. And with springtime means that we're getting close to, to planting season. Uh, planting your garden, planting grass, planting a flower bed. You know, one of the things that will doom a plant from, from the very beginning is a bad seed. If you've got a bad seed, it doesn't matter where you put it in the ground. It doesn't matter how much you water it or cultivate it. A bad seed is not going to produce a good vegetable, a good fruit, a good flower. There's nothing you can do about it. Jesus talks about this in the Gospel of Matthew when he says, A bad tree bears bad fruit. Well, in Psalm 51, our words of focus for today tell us that all of us, by, by nature, from the moment of our very conception, we are bad seeds. Our words of the day are from Psalm 51, verse 5. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. These words from Psalm 51 are used to support this uh, doctrine, this teaching in the Bible of original sin. That is from the very first sin, the original sin, Adam and Eve. This sinful nature has been passed down to each and every person in the world throughout history. You get it from your parents, from the moment of your conception. We confess in our Lutheran church, I am by nature sinful and unclean. That's original sin. And this shows us that uh, sin isn't just a matter of doing doing bad things. It's not that I sin, therefore I am a sinner. Rather, sin is more a state of being. I am a sinner, therefore I sin. The theologian G.K. Chesterton once said that original sin is the only doctrine that's been empirically val validated by 2,000 years of human history. In other words, it's the only doctrine that we can uh, prove just by taking a look at the world around us. And I often teach original sin this way when I ask parents uh, if their children, if they had to teach their children to be selfish or if they had to teach their children to share, which came more naturally for their child? Well, to be selfish, of course. And what David confesses here about his sinful nature shows that he is without excuse. He has no one to blame for his sin and its consequences but himself. And you and I, we don't have any other excuse either. You see, we like to think that our biggest problems in life are outside of us and caused by other people and other situations rather than by ourselves. But rather than point fingers and blame others, Psalm 51 teaches us to turn the finger around, to point it at our own hearts. What you and I really need to be rescued from is ourselves. Psalm 51 helps us to meet our real enemy. We discover that it is us. This means that our only hope for rescue is from 
the outside, from someone to come in from the outside to redeem us, to deliver us. And so, so to our rescue, to our world, God sent Jesus. And Jesus teaches us that unless one is born again by water in the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Rebirth, that's what we need. And that's what is provided to you through holy baptism. When the baptismal waters are poured over you on the outside, what's going on in the inside is that Jesus, through his blood shed on the cross, is washing you clean. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Create in me a clean heart. Renew a right spirit within me. Rebirth through Jesus. That's what you and I have. That's what you and I need. That is our one and only hope. You have been brought forth now by the spirit made into a good tree, a good seed which bears good fruit. For a time of reflection, I want you to consider this question. Who or what are you tempted to blame for the sin with which you actually came into the world? As I said before, we all tend to point fingers, to make excuses, to blame others. What are you tempted to blame? Instead of taking responsibility for yourself. Go ahead and pause the video and consider that question. And would you pray with me? Lord God, it's easy to point fingers and blame others for my own sin and its consequences. It's much harder to point the finger at myself. But I am, by nature and by doing, a sinner. Renew a right spirit within me day by day through Jesus my only hope. In his name we pray. Amen. Our song of the day is another a beautiful rendition of Psalm 51. This one sung by Graham Kendrick. I've included a link below this video. Encourage you to check it out for yourselves. Until next time, God's grace and peace be with you all.